I had to go and be an actor. So at that point, um, and I think I must have been about 26, I chucked it all in and headed to a repertory theater company called the Court Theater. And uh, you could basically join this company and learn during the day and rehearse at night and once a month put on a professional play somewhere. So yeah, that's where I met my wife, Louise, and that was- It's lovely. during this period, that's all you're doing. You're not working in an ad agency and acting at night or any of that. You're, you're doing just that after you left the job that you had in between the agency and joining the court. Yeah, so, so what happened was Tim, Tim was a very dear, and still is a very dear friend of mine, and he, was the, he, he ran this company. And he basically said, you're gonna regret this. He said, you're so good at what you do. You're a born salesman. Why are you throwing this away to become an actor? And I said, Tim, I've got to do it. You know, it's, it's uh, something I just got to do. And he said, listen, I'll, I'll cut you a deal. How many days have you got to do this shit? <laughs> and I said, well, it's actually Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you train Thursday and Friday, you rehearse Saturday and Sunday. So it's a four day thing. So I'm basically Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm free. And he said, I'll retain you for three days in the company. So you carry on handling the business. I'll retain you for three days. So I actually, during that period, was working commission only and training as an actor. And so I wasn't really a starving actor. I was doing pretty okay. Um, so I balanced the two, actually. And I did that for three years. So I paid my...